I sat down the other day and I was working on a video for this channel and I realized that there was something wrong, something wasn't right, and there was something I had to action straight away. It's the wall behind me. This wall here, it's been great for the last six to 12 months, been absolutely fantastic, but it's time for a refresh. I'm not happy with it. I think I can do something much, much cooler with it. So this idea that I have in my head, it's a large scale project, and the whole thing is based around a super black background. So everything that is in gray behind me is essentially gonna go to black. I'm using the brand Dulux for the paint, and I'm actually using Theater Black. I've never used Theater Black before. I'm very, very interested to see how it applies, how it dries, but the main principle around this is this would be the black you would see in theaters. Uh, it's not gonna reflect any light or not much light, which is fantastic for this sort of a situation. And then over the top of that, we're gonna come in and do a really big outline piece with some paint pens, uh, very tattoo inspired. I think it's gonna be really cool. Again, not too sure how it's gonna turn out, but life is short, so let's get stuck in and have a look. Now we need to design the wall. So for this, I've taken a photo and I've bought it straight into Procreate. This is my app of choice. It's fantastic for something like this. Uh, I've taken this great skull and this great Hanya mask design, which I've done. And I really want to fuse the two. I want to utilize the space as much as possible. And then the final touch is I'm going to drop down that opacity, bring in some nice bold outlines over the top. So I know what I want the finished product to look like. This is looking perfect. Now it's time to move on to the outline stage. To get this on the wall, I'm using an app called Mural Maker. It's fantastic. You are gonna need two iOS devices for this. One of them is gonna be positioned back, so it's gonna be looking at the wall with your artwork over the top. And then as you can see in the video here, I'm actually holding my iPad, which is showing me exactly where my artwork should be so I can follow the lines and get it onto the wall. This is a much nicer way if you don't have or don't want to use a projector. All right, at this point, I'm super happy with how the design is turning out on the wall. As you can see behind me, I've jumped in and I've started to do some of the really thick outlines. These are gonna be some of the final lines that are done on the wall. I've jumped in with a Posca marker, I have it here. It's the Posca marker eight millimeter. This thing is absolutely insane. It's my favorite outliner for mural pieces like this. Gives you a really nice detailed line, but in a really big, uh, line format uh, it's a chisel tip so it's gonna be really really nice to lay down nice big super thick lines let's jump in have a look at what some of the remaining outline process looks like and then we should be finished up with this whole wall And that's a wrap. I am super happy with how this turned out in the end. This wall is amazing. It's not perfect by any means, but I love it. It's gonna be great in the background of all my videos going forward. It's big, it's bold, it's my style of art, and it's a bit of a showstopper as well. So, uh, of course, this was a very interesting project. Nothing ever really works out the way you want it to the very first time, and I, I definitely had a few trial and error moments with this. But overall, I'm very, very happy with it. Let's jump in and have a look at the finished project and a little bit of closer details.
as you can see here, the goal of this was to have very big bold outlines, no color in this. It's gonna be sitting behind me uh, in all the videos that I do. So I really wanted to have it be its own piece of art as well. Uh, not something super recognizable at first, but when you look a bit closer, you can see all those really cool details. So overall, very, very happy with how this turned out. I'm really glad you'd come along on the ride and to sort of have a bit of a look into how I go about some of the bigger art that I do and to be a part of the channel moving forward because this is going to be my new background. So thank you so much for watching this video. Again, if you like the content, please subscribe down below. It really means a lot to me, helps me grow my channel. But apart from that, that's going to do it. I'll catch you in the next video.